Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we're going to talk about what is AI QA engineering and how is the existing QA engineering job is going to transform to a new job. How exactly companies are now banking towards AI QA engineering and how they are hiring the QA engineers to be more AI empowered. For example, this particular company that I was seeing over here, Everly uh, Well, they're looking for an QA engineer or a senior QA engineer. To be honest, at the moment, they're not really looking for for a person who can do a fine tuning or test a fine tune, the uh, large language model, something like that. But they're looking for a person who can actually use the power of the large language model in their testing purposes. So what they're looking for is use the AI tools like Cursor to rapidly generate test case from the requirement, user stories and code difference. And also maintain uh, or build the test uh, like Cypress or Playwright using these tools. And there is one point which is very important over here. This is use LLM and agent to simulate the user behavior for a broader scenario coverage. One of the popular posts which I saw is from uh, the uh, Notion company, which is very popular for documenting and things that you might have used it many times. They are also looking for an AI QA specialist. And what they are looking for at the moment is that they are looking for a person who can perform a routine structured QA review of the AI support interaction for email for qualitative and quantitative accuracy. And they're also looking for validate and continuously improve auto QA scoring and matrices prior to deployment and ongoing operation. I think what they're exactly looking for is they have a system where you can use the auto QA as a tool which can help to identify whether the scoring and matrices are as expected or not. And they also have got other roles as well. So if you just go to this company, uh, this is in Bangalore, India. So they are looking for a QA engineer who has got a prompt based knowledge. So you see that now it's kind of not just one single uh, tool that they're looking for or one single technique they're looking for. They are looking for a prompt engineer, looking for a person who can use the existing toolings like Cursor, Winsurf, uh, GitHub Copilot, or they're looking for an engineer who can even build these tools from the complete ground up. So gone are those days where we had this uh, manual testing job and then automated testing job, and then we had this SDET. I think those are the flow we still have, but the the, the work that you are going to be doing is going to be a bit more changed. So probably the manual QA engineer is going to be doing prompt engineering. Automation engineer is going to use these tools, maybe Cursor or Winsor or any other uh, AI-related tools. And the SDET is the person who is going to be going a level further and going to start building these AI agent or MCP servers or integrating these into the pipeline and then running it. 